Another seeker after knowledge enters my realm. Oh, you're lovely. This is Apocrypha, where all knowledge is hoarded. Now, perhaps you will prove clever enough to uncover the secrets hidden here. If so, Welcome. Oh, perhaps you are a fool or a coward. If so, you are in peril. Need your book again and escape before Apocrypha claims you forever. Okay. Well, I hopefully am not a fool. Or a coward. Well, maybe a fool, but not a coward, at least. What the... F okay, so I have to wait for this thing to come... back. It is all made of books. Oh! Oh, I don't like this. Ooh, I really don't like this. Ah, what was Nella saying about people getting driven mad? Oh, son of a... Ah. Hello! Okay. Yeah? Hermaeus Mora, the god of tentacles. And destiny. Guess it's the tentacles of destiny. Oh right, I'm supposed to be going back this way. Ah, oh, okay. Guess I have to be quicker on the jump than that. Ah, hi. Oh, I don't want to fall in that for sure. Okay. I'm trying to have my sea legs. Except I don't have the... F uh. This seems like the kind of place that Arden would either love or hate. <laughs> okay, that's a sound. You bastards. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Hi. Okay.
That guy's gonna be an issue. Yes, he is. Hello. Oh. Oh, they drop books. Okay. Ah. You know, this sort of reminds me of Blackreach. In that I can't feel kind here at all, and that's terrifying. Who am I even talking to? I don't know, but I feel like there are eyes everywhere, so... Don't look down. Ah, cool. That was harrowing. Seeker. Looks like it's just one. Probably isn't just one. Nope, there's something up there too. Just saw it. Feels like there's something there. That worked. Is this important? Actually, that's probably bad news. And more bad news. Look at those little slappy- hi! Oh. You know, I'm gonna go back to these things, because they fit better. This looks like something that slappy tentacles would come out of. Uh... Okay, so my range isn't that good. I'm only fighting one of them right now. I think. I hope. As I was saying... Let's get rid of that guy before I do anything else. <laughs> I'm okay with just doing this. 
Oh, hello. <laughs> this is working out pretty well, actually. Hello. Big... Slimy bastard. And there's a couple of Seekers in there. Let's see what's at the- ah, uh, hello. End of this hallway. More Seekers, probably? Ah. Okay. That's nice. Yo! The answer is yes. Ooh. Ooh. I'm learning your game, Herma. Herma. Well, I guess. Wait. Huh. Weird. Okay. What the? Ah, hello. When in doubt. Horker tusk. <laughs> when in doubt, just... Hi! Oh. I feel like I'm gonna get lost in here. Oh, dizzy. Oh, dizzy. Okay. Yeah? Mr. Tentacle? Okay. Where the... Is that it? I think that's it. Let's be smart. Ish. Okay. Not that smart, I guess. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Okay. Well, I guess I know what I'm up against if Mirak came through here without problem. Any slaps of destiny here? Whoa.
I like that. I'm gonna take it just because I like it. Oh. Okay. Gods. Look at this place. You know, even the architecture looks like tentacles made of books. You can call it architecture. What is this? Ha! Huh? Hello! Oh, seekers of knowledge, come to me. Sooner or later. Ah. I... I don't like that. Okay. Well, I'm here. You're a Daedric Prince. Why exactly do you keep showing up? You have entered my realm. You have sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other has obtained. Yeah. You are dragonborn, like Mirak before you, a seeker of knowledge and power. I mean, yeah? Technically? I came here to learn Mirak's secrets. I don't want anything to do with you. <sighs> All that he knows, he learned from me. Oh. I know what you want. To use your power as Dragonborn, to bend the world to your will. Uh, no, not really. Ah, here then, is the knowledge you need, although <laughs> you did not know you needed it. I think I do. The second word oh. of power. Use it to bend the wills of mortals to your purpose. Bend the wills of- But this is not enough. Mirak knows the final word of power. Without that, you cannot hope to surpass him. Ah, uh, okay. Mirak served me well. And he was rewarded. I can grant you the same power as he wields, but all knowledge has its price. Okay. I have a couple questions. If Mirak is your ally, why are you helping me? Hmm, he has served me long and well, but he grows restless under my guidance. Yes. His desire to return to your world will spread my influence more widely, but... It will also set him free from my direct control. It may be time to replace him with a more loyal servant. Hmm? One who still appreciates the gifts that I have to offer. Oh... Got it. And why do you think I need the last word of power to defeat Mirak? Uh, even dragons submit to Mirak's voice. Without that power, you cannot face him. So say I. 
a mere smaller master of the times of fate. Interesting. Okay. So what's your price for the final word of power? Knowledge. For knowledge. Okay. The Scar have withheld their secrets from me for many long years. The time has come for this knowledge to be added to my library. Oh. That's not where I thought you were going with that. Okay. And if the Skull refuse to give up their secrets? My servant, Murak, would have found a way to bring me what I want. So will you, if you wish to surpass him. Send the Skull Shaman to me. He holds the secrets. That will be mine. You want to talk to Storn? I mean, I suppose. He is the keeper of the knowledge. But... What are these? Okay, that's a thing. Speaking of things. Let me do that before someone steals a dragon soul from me again. I'm not sure I want to surpass Mirak if it means getting stuck here. Yeesh. Uh oh. Am I stuck here? What happened? There we what did you see? Different people have very different experiences when reading these books. Well, I, uh, talked to Hermaeus Mora. Oh, great. You're still acting surprisingly sane, too. What did he have to say? He must have wanted something from you. Uh... Actually, he wants the secrets of the Skull in exchange for teaching me the third word. He wants the what? Eh, you didn't tell me you were keeping secrets. I didn't know we were either. Ah, what secrets could they have worth keeping from old Mora? Sounds like a bargain to me. Hey. Hermaeus Mora learns some fascinating new ways to skin a hawker, and you become the second most powerful dragonborn that ever lived. Well, that gives me a lot to think about. I need to get back to Telmithra. I have some ideas about how to locate more of these black books. Okay, you get right on that. We've got... rocks to destroy, I think. 
So you talk with Hermaeus Mora. Yep. And he wants to talk to Storn. And I don't think that's a very good idea until we break the rest of the rocks so that he doesn't have control over people while he's talking to Storn. That is a good idea. You've got this look about you like you're hiding something, though. Not hiding, just trying to come to terms with it. Hi. Apparently, Hermaeus Mora seems to think I'm going to be willing to be a servant of his. Great. Oh, hello. Wait. Mirek has commanded your death, so it shall be. Great. Is anyone else seeing the sky do that? Let's take care of the dragon first, shall we? I can. Ah, there's the bastard now. What are you doing? Being a bastard? It takes a strong will to command a dragon's soul. Perhaps you aren't as powerful as you think. You seem to think I think I'm pretty powerful. <laughs> Thank you. We will meet again soon. Everyone seems to think I think I'm one of the most powerful dragonborn to ever live. And you don't? No, not by a long shot. Second most powerful dragonborn to ever walk near in my left butt cheek. <laughs> I don't even think I'm in the top three. Or five. I don't know. Ten. Not right now, anyway. And I'm not exactly the power-hungry type. At least I like to think so. I'm not about to go... traipsing all over everywhere looking for... knowledge that'll give me more skills to do more things. I just want to get this taken care of so that we can sleep. Oh, the sky is back to... Oh. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, I must have just been seeing things. Ooh. What is that? Uh... All the way over there? Yeah. Might be a niche. Aye, looks like a niche to me. Are they dangerous? Psh! Hardly. Well, I mean, they are if you piss them off, but... And I see that, Netch. Hmm. 
Right, we've got some rocks to handle. <laughs> and supposedly I can bend the will of mortals now. That's fun. You can do what? I'm not sure if it's a power I ever want to use. I mean, I'm morbidly curious, but... Still not something I'm sure I want to use. Well, nothing else you're doing everyone in Raven Rock, or I guess Solstein in general, a favor. I think everyone is uh, ready to get some good night's sleep around here. Ay, no kidding. Yeah, that's my goal. Sort of. Better that than bending the wills of mortals or whatever. That we might remember. Definitely not that kind of dragonborn. Go! Alright, lurker. There we are. Second one. Lovely. There we are. Got him. Nice. And the second one is up that way, right? Aye. Should just be up the coast and past uh, the barrow up here. Oh, Blissful Barrow. I actually met Mr. Cerro around here. Mr. Who? The, uh, there's a Dunbar mercenary upstairs at the uh, Retching Netch. Probably should have introduced you if I hadn't. Huh. I think we just sort of... No, we haven't stopped anywhere yet. It's no wonder everyone's flagging. Yeah. But I, uh, I met him just around the corner here. And uh, we sort of sorted out Blood Skull Barrow. So that was fun. Oh, and they're back. Great. Well, I guess we no time to like the present to test this thing, shall we? I guess the question is... Who do I want to test it on? You'll do. Not sure if it worked. It did. What the... Okay. That's perfectly bizarre. Your armor will look good on me. I'm gonna bleed you. Where are you exactly? Can't bleed what you can't find. And off you go. I think he was dead before he hit the bottom, otherwise I'd feel a little guilty about that. I think that's it. Yep, I think it is. I mean, morally, probably. Man's got a boar for me, I guess.
That was pretty snazzy. Taking out the whole fort. <laughs> I think Kine's got a boar for me up here. If he's still glowing, I'll take him out, but... Yep. Welcome, Kine. Now it's just a matter of these guys. How about a little fire, Ice Wraith? Damn, that's beautiful. Hello. Hello. Looks like we're coming up. It's all right. They'll catch up. And if they don't, they'll catch up to me handling this. There we are. I think Morga got caught on stuff back there. She'll catch up. Cultist. There's a rude awakening for you, Mr. Cultist. I didn't. Oh, you're kidding me. And a dragon? That figures. Got him. Somebody help. Of course, he's down there. Figures. With boars. I can take you. Solo, even. Alright, Mirak, are you gonna steal this one, too? Hey, what? Oh. Hello. Look at you having all the fun without me. Yeah, well. I didn't exactly want this thing getting anywhere near everyone up there. Hey, there's a boar on my tail! Is the other one gonna come after us? I don't think so. Alright. Good. So that's a dragon, a stone, two stones actually taken care of. Now we've just got to get back to Storn. And I'm kind of afraid of what's going to happen there. Hey, me too. But I guess it's up to Hermamora if Storn has what he's looking for, right? Yeah. I can't even imagine what that would be, but. I guess we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> or not. But we will see what happens. Alright, come on. Around the boar.